I've listed out topics that are most likely to drop where you would have to do more critical thinking than just, you know, fixing in formulas and then just working out. So this video is in two parts. The first part has to do with calculation. The second part has to do with the non-calculation topics. So a topic that you will need to use critical thinking to do is Venn diagram. That's one of them. And you would have to do some calculation. So you have to know your set, your subset, what subset is union, intersection, and then complement. And you should be able to make logical relationships in the questions you are giving. Now with the Venn diagram, sometimes you are done and you are asked to find at least or at most. Make sure you are good with that before you start or you get ready for your PEC. Also a linear equation or linear inequalities. You have to know how to assign variables formulate the equation that is from the word problem and then interpret the solution and even check if your answer is right. For example, if you are giving questions on ages and at the end your variable is giving you a negative answer, know that you are wrong because no one's age can ever be negative. Now we also have coordinate geometry which has to do with graphing parallel and perpendicular lines, know the formulas and you are giving two coordinates or two lines. How would you know if the lines are parallel or perpendicular? You should be able to get the equation of a line either from the graph or you are giving some information. You should be able to calculate slope, the midpoint of a line, then the length of a line. The midpoint of a line and the length of a line all have formulas. So make sure you are well abreast with them. And we have polygons. You should be able to identify all types of polygons interior and exterior angles some of interior angles regular and irregular polygons you should be able to identify them not just that but sometimes you would be required to state the formula for a word problem question that has to do with polygons so take note of that so now with trigonometry trigonometry is one of the topics that you should always expect either in the objectives or even the section B now if you know your trig ratio your sign your cos and your tan and your angle of elevation and an angle of depression you see with mathematics make sure you have solved questions on whatsoever it's not really about you know seeing it in the test book and then ability to know that okay this is what the one who was calculating did you have to get your hands dirty make sure you practice when it comes to critical thinking and problem solving sometimes the answer is not obvious to the eyes but as you you know progress everything just spills out in front of you so distance time graph presenting a graph and over here as well you have to know how to find the gradient know the formula for speed or velocity and acceleration as well you should be able to differentiate between them what the difference between constant speed and constant acceleration kindly comment in the comment section if you know what it is now we also have percentages which is also part of the calculation you should be able to work your way around percentages converting them to fraction and decimals. It all goes around percentage increase and percentage decrease. When it comes to um, calculating of interest, commission, depreciation, discount, SNET, and so on. So you have to work your way around them. Make sure you solve more examples. You are confident to solve these questions without the help from anyone. We also have vectors and bearing. Addition of vectors, finding the magnitude or length. You know that's that one also has to do with the formula. Working around the position vector, resultant vector, and then inverse vectors. Finding perpendicular vectors and then parallel vectors. We are giving two vectors. How do you know that this is perpendicular to this or that is parallel as well? Kindly comment in the comment section if you know. Okay, so over here also we have with the bearing, the coordinate system, angle measurement, and then directional referencing, especially when it when it comes to the back bearing, you have to be very, very confident and you can really be confident if you solve more questions. So get used to that. Now, statistics, types of data, quantitative data, qualitative data, discrete data, and so on. You also have the measures of central tendency, which has to do with your mean, your median, and then your mood. Data representation, either by using the pie chart, bar chart, histogram, stem and leaf plots, you are okay with all of them 
and then when it comes to ratio and proportion there isn't much to say about it you just have to get used to solving them because it's more about finding the fraction of something and then you know the critical thinking comes in so when it comes to the no calculation topics We have linear transformation which has to do more with um, drawings now in the other topics you see you see that most of them most of the critical thinking topics that have nothing to do with calculation are actually drawing so knowing your horizontal and vertical axis reflection in the y axis reflection in the x axis rotation enlargement and then scalar now what i'm doing in this video is just to give you a bigger picture of what you are supposed to really give attention to as your teacher takes you through them Maybe later or in future, I would go through these topics in detail. When it comes to construction, geometric construction, construction of angles using a compass and a ruler only. For example, getting um, an angle of 120 degrees without the protractor. How do you go about it? Measuring of angles, this one has to do with the use of a protractor. So when we say a look at what actually is it, comment in the comment section if you know what it is. How do you draw perpendicular lines and then parallel lines? This is just bigger picture of what you're actually going to do and when it comes to probability i think comparing the old curriculum to this new one this new curriculum actually goes into details so finding simple events compound events experimental events with compound events there are actually two events you are comparing and then real life situation where you are told to find a probability that something that's not something is not going to happen or i don't want to go into details but you should be able to, um, by the help of your tutor, kindly like this video so that other colleagues of yours will be able to find this video and help them pass their mathematics. Also, comment in the comment section any topic you think I didn't um, mention and any video idea or anything you would want me to throw more light on. Thank you for watching this video.